Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to our glorious Space Age run where we started fresh and we are slowly working our way towards space itself. We now have sulfuric acid and batteries, which means robots are just around the corner. One thing I need to do before robots though is get those electric engines back. We tore it down so we had room for our uh, little, whatever you call this. And I'm gonna leave room for beacons there. And so now we can get our engines and circuits. And yeah, in the last episode, the main thing we did was get quality going. So now I have this uncommon modular armor with extra inventory space. Uh, super neat. I really like the quality mechanics so far. We haven't done like a ton, a ton with it, but I've definitely, definitely enjoyed what we've gotten to do. Okay, so then I'm gonna go ahead and place these guys again. I think that's eight. So there, I literally, even though I was hitting shift R, I still <laughs> did it three times because I'm so used to just rotating three times when you need to go counterclockwise, which is really funny. So yeah, this should be everything we need for our little flying construction monkeys. Flying monkeys. Space, not the final frontier. Indeed, space is the beginning frontier. The first frontier, even. Or maybe the second. Depends on how you count Nalvis as a frontier. Um, but yeah, electric engines just needs this lubricant. There you have it. Gosh, being able to hold a pipe and see all of your pipe visualizations is really nice. I really like that. Auto personal robo port. I probably should have that button here. And now we need to start crafting. Oh man. I need to craft solar panels. <sighs> all right, well, now we get to set up solar panel mess um i always think i need glass for these but that's modded we just need circuits steel and copper which is all kind of right here so maybe i don't know focus on one thing at a time bots first bots first um so flying robot frames Need four things. These are two of them. And the other two are here. And here. And I'll split that off, but then we'll do steel there. So that way we kind of have both options. I might need the red circuit. I do need the red circuits for bots soon. Um. Now, if I'm going to put beacons here, these should be here. Otherwise, I won't be able to utilize them. The beacons. Cause it, no, 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 sorry. These need to be out one more tile. Uh, and then these need to be here. And then the beacons will go here someday. I think six is enough for flying robot frames. Although we use those for science, so maybe I'll just put eight here for now and we'll call it a day. Uh, but then we're gonna have to use uncommon techniques. See, with Bob's adjustable inserters, I would just be like, boom, 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 turn that 90 degrees and we're happy. But here, that doesn't work so well. So what we actually have to do is, I don't even know, how do you do this? Wait a second. I thought I had a solution, and now I'm not so sure. Because you can do this. And that gets you those two, but then we don't get the other ones. Um... Wait just a minute. How 
do we do this? Can can you? Is this solvable without belt weaving? I'm not a dirty belt weaver and I never will be. You can't you can't make me. Apologies to those of you who are dirty belt weavers. May God rest your soul. Um Is there a way to solve this without belt weaving in vanilla without having angled inserters? It feels like there should be. Oh, there it is. Wait, no. I was about to say there is, but this isn't it. I just did that. That doesn't work. Um, so like, we're imagining this space is taken up. That That's what we're trying to figure out. Because beacons only have a range of, basically a gap range of two. So is there a way to do this? I don't think there is. Yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll input um, on the other side. We'll just assume one side of beacons rather than two. Yeah, other than under outputting onto undergrounds that are going directly away from, I guess that would work from the right side. It wouldn't work from the left side because these are in the way. So it's a little problematic. Interesting. I forgot belts in vanilla were so limited. Or I should say inserters. The belts are fine. Um, also, having buildings that are only three by three in Pyanodons, the buildings are so long, you have plenty of space to wiggle your belts in and around each other and everything works out fine. But uh, not not so much when the buildings are only three by three. Who knew I'd be complaining my buildings were so small? <laughs> oh, man. But hey, there we go. Flying robot frames. And then now those come over here and then we've got um, a smattering of, oh man, that's not gonna work. Annoying. Smattering of green and red chips here to make the final product. Which is good old construction robot and logistic robot. Now these guys, I think are worth trying to up their quality here and there because having high quality ones for my personal use will be nice. Yeah, you could separate the machines to give you more space, that's true. But then the point of having beacons is also lessened. Exactly. Alright. So I think that's all we need. Um, it would be good to get rid of some of these things that I accumulated over time, though I don't want all 200 gone. Engine, let's get rid of those. Robot frames, get rid of those. Okay, so there you go. Construction robots are a go. Uh, we'll let that build up to a lot. Oh, we already got an uncommon Lodgebot. All right, let's see what they get. They get twice the capacity? Ooh, fancy. Uh, I Sorry, not carrying capacity, energy capacity. So, there you go. Uh, so they can fly twice as far before they have to go charge, which is quite nice. Um, and that ends up making them m much more effective in total. Sweet. Okay, so we'll take some bots, and now I need to work on these things. Personal RoboPort. So the robot limit and the recharge rate go up with quality for RoboPorts. 
Uh, I'll need a belt immunity. I guess the max consumption goes down with belt immunity. <laughs> I guess it couldn't do much more than that. You know what should change with night vision is the dimensions. Higher quality night vision should be smaller in your inventory. That's what I think anyway. All right, so now let's get solar panels automated. Yeah, there are so many new sound effects. That's so cool. That's the actual robo port noise. Oh, they're cute. I like their noises. It's fun. All right, so solar panels, solar panels. What was it again? Green circuits, copper and steel. We're probably going to run out of copper, um, but this is the way. What are those new buttons on your UI? Um, these ones make wires. The rest of them, I think, are not new. There's just blueprint stuff. Undo gives you a, a vision of what you would undo now. Ooh, Inception. Watch myself run around. Um, but yeah, solar panels. I know I could make quality solar panels to try to make quality equipment, but then I would need quality steel again. We come back to that steel quality. Yeah, exactly. Legendary night vision goggles. So uncommon would be one by two. Rare would be... Well, no. Uncommon would be like an L shape. Rare would be, you know, a one by two. Epic would be a one by one. And then legendary would just be zero. <laughs> it would just be free. Um, I guess that still wouldn't get you to negatives. You'd have to skip the L shape to get to negatives. Quality solar panels will certainly be worth doing. Not yet, though, is what I will say to that. Not yet. We need mostly green circuits. Copper and steel are equal. Okay, so why don't we increase this green circuit build by a bit here? Um. That again. Just to make sure we are rolling in the green circuits. I haven't even checked the rates on these inserters. Are these inserters fast enough? I think they are. But what if what if they're not? Out of belts. Goodness. Out of belts. Eesh. Look at our base. This is this is clean AF for Crydex. Look at these straight lines. Man, I'm impressed. I'm impressed we have straight lines. Don't worry, space stations will be soon, and <laughs> there will not be straight lines on the space station. That is going to be spaghetti central. I've just been, I've been holding in my spaghetti tendencies for getting ready for the space stations. Uh, for sure. What else do we need? Power poles. I need some more assembling machines. Uh, maybe some more inserters. Pipes? No, we're good on pipes. Gears? Sure. Turrets? No. Boilers? No. Kim plants? Why not? I'll take some. Going once, going twice. Sold! Alright, I think that's everything we need. We got green chips, we got red chips. Uh, we got steel, maybe some iron? I'll buy, I'll buy a vowel. Buy some iron here. All right. So yeah, I'm so excited for the space platforms, but we don't want to rush it too much. We still need we still need a good base, right? 
Because after the space platform comes planets, and after planets comes more planets. So, you know, there's no there's no end in sight if we just are trying to bootstrap to the next thing. There's always going to be a next thing. So... That being the case... means we should do it do it right all right copper down and then green circuits look at now you know this is kind of chaotic here this has got some chaotic energy uh, I'll admit to that but more or less is actually kind of clean All right, there's that. And then what do accumulators need? Accumulators. They are iron plates and batteries. So there's literally no overlap between accumulators and solar panels. Interesting. Interesting. And yeah, you guys are right. It's probably worth a 10% speed hit to get a few higher quality ones. But we'll do that. Um. What's up, Kamuna-chan? How's it going? How's it going? Concrete would be nice. Well, we'll have to start you out with Stone Brick because the name in Game Redemption because I don't have concrete yet. <laughs> um, we could make concrete. How bad would that be? Uh, I need water and iron ore and stone in the same place. Eh, it's kind of bad. We don't have water over here, otherwise we could do it in that region. We'll get there. We'll get there relatively soon, though. There's some solar panels for our personal solar needs. And I will need lots of steel for that. I'll hoover up some more steel here. Also, why is this research taking so long? I guess I just need more labs. Yeah, they're doing what they can. They're doing what they can. I will need concrete eventually anyway. That is true. I've always hated that concrete needs iron ore. We almost have... I mean, we already have logistics bots. We just don't have the chests for it yet. Hmm... All right, let me get some more. Look at all this room in our, in our not quite legendary, but you know, basically legendary uh, modular armor. Normally we would only have three more slots. How am I playing Space Age already? Uh, the media access started today. So anyone with a I'm calling it media access. You could call it a lot of things, but basically the, the the beta that people from the LAN party were invited to and other modders and content creators and such were invited to basically opens today for people to be able to release content. So YouTube videos and such. Uh, but the public release of Space Age is a week from today on October 21st. Okay, so are all these running full time? I haven't really checked. Seems like they are. Now, me forgetting to reconnect that because we didn't have enough red belts is certainly, certainly a thing. Uh, that should help now. <laughs> uh, it is, it is paid. It is thirty-five dollars, which we discussed this a little bit. Oh my god, I rolled a rare before an uncommon even. That's crazy. That's really crazy. Because you have... Basically a 1 in 10 chance for it to be a rare. So the odds that you roll this before you roll the other one is 1 in 11, I guess. That's not insane, but pretty pretty uncommon. Um, but yeah, Kamunichan, it's the same price. So yes, it is paid. It is $35 just like the the regular game. 
which seems seems a bit steep until you really dive into what Space Age offers, and it's more than it's more than reasonably priced, um, because I would argue it adds more than the game itself already has before the DLC. It's not a standard DLC in terms of how big it is. It's so much bigger. In terms of content, quality of life, base game changes, it just does so much more than what DLC normally does for video games. It's it's far worth it. Um, okay, what are you guys asking about quality? Does light armor increase with quality? Uh, it does not. At least it doesn't have any pips. So if there's something that improves, it, it doesn't show it. And neither does heavy armor. Modular armor is the first one. And, uh, sorry I can't pronounce your name, I'll call you Ate. Um, quality scaling stats on concrete slash bricks. Only, kind of not, no. There's no stats that scale with concrete, but it will serve as a high quality ingredient if you're making something with the bricks or with the concrete. So, all right, let's actually make some concrete since we're here. Um, we'll bring iron ore. Maybe over to here. This this feels like a decent place for it because it's not too far from the iron. We've got water nearby. We've got a little bit of empty space. So we'll make... And concrete goes pretty fast, right? No. No, it doesn't. 0.75 a second. Um, I'll maybe do like four. And then... This will be iron ore. And we'll have to make some stone brick too. You know what would be nice is researching electric smelting. Oh, I already did that. Okay, we'll make a few of those then. And then we'll just bring the iron ore over. It improves social status if you have legendary light armor. Okay, over to here. Oh, I'm so ready for construction bots. All right, so the, we'll do the water on this side. Eee, this is gonna get a little tighter than I thought it would be. Um, okay, this radar can certainly be moved. Heavy oil can also be rearranged to here. And then this can be redone. Though, it's kind of annoying to redo it, but... Maybe I should just put it here. All right, imp uh, let's see here. We'll, we'll just temporarily put a pump in this direction to empty this out. And this will fill up. You think most studios would release it as Factorio 2? Yeah, basically. I really think they could have. It's, it's kind of hard, because in a lot of ways this isn't Factorio 2, but like, in regards to what they've earned, as far as player enjoyment and features they've added, it also, like, is Factorio 2. So it's kind of weird, because it's a little bit of both. Alright. Really spaghettied these fluids just to get space for concrete here. And we need stone brick. Which... Oop. You do here? And I mean... I don't know what I'm doing here. This was, this was not well thought out. But we're gonna need concrete for some buildings soon anyway, so... I wanted to get this done. But yeah, this was... And this is not well thought out. It's not even, it doesn't even have space to output onto the belt. What am I doing? What am I doing? Alright, put 
He's over here. So we can do that. Then we can do this. Then we can dump onto that side. And then we can just not use the other side. Yeah, being able to place a tank wherever you want in a fluid system and it doesn't really matter is a very interesting... I mean, our, tanks kind of aren't even that necessary anymore, except for situations like this where you actually want a decent amount of fluid to buffer up because you use it in large spurts. Um, but yeah, it's just very odd altogether. All right, so there we go. That should be concrete. Oh, no, we got to link up the water. Just to make more spaghetti over here. There we go. Concrete. What's my favorite new feature so far before getting into space? Well, I think quality is the obvious answer for new feature because that's kind of the only... It's really the only bit of Space Age that I would call a like a feature feature content wise that we've gotten to touch. But as far as like things that aren't actual new content, I think the Combinator changes are really sweet. And we haven't done trains yet, but I think the new train interrupt set schedules are probably probably there on the list. Only because I chickened out of sushi pipes. I didn't chicken out. I, I will do sushi pipes at some point, but I wasn't going to do them for oil. That's ridiculous. What's crazy, though, is now that we can set... Oh, my God. I just thought of something. Guys, now that we can set assembler recipes based on circuit conditions, you can make a big bank of oil processing that switches between heavy oil cracking and light oil cracking... Oh my gosh, and then you can like pump all the light oil in, crack it all, turn them off, and then when you have too much heavy oil, you pump a bunch of heavy oil in, set the recipe to heavy oil cracking. You can use the same set of whatever these are called, chemical plants, for... Oh my gosh, there's so many new... There's so many new ways to play, even. Like, that sort of idea, while it was sort of possible, in the previous one, though you would have needed to have gotten a mod that let you change assembly recipes. Now it's like actually possible. Like legit possible. That's crazy. Also, let's look at this here. So we get a 30% boost for uncommon and then another 30% for 160% power. These solar panels are gonna be useful on my, uh, on my first space station, I think. Me thinks. All right, so I need one more. Just want to get these things arranged in a way that's slightly less horrific to my eyeballs. All right, one more solar panel. Having multiple different stacks for quality is kind of annoying. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm not entirely certain how I feel about that. It's necessary. Uh, I think it would be worse the other way, but it also is annoying. So it's kind of one of those like, well, damned if you do, damned if you don't. It's kind of annoying both ways. So this is crazy. 14 and 4? It should be 40 and 4. That's very non-standard amounts of product there. All right, so there's plenty of concrete. And let's start looking. We're just, we're just beginning to look. We're not going to get there yet. But what do we need to get this whole space station thing? Space platform. So we need the rocket silo, which needs low density structure, blue chips, and rocket fuel. That's it. I mean, guys, we're, we're basically in space already. Come on now. This is great. This is awesome. What else do I need right now? How are we doing? I haven't zoomed out in a while. Let's zoom out. So, we have 
enough oil. I probably should hook up more oil, which is going to mean our pollution cloud is going to threaten some more biters soon. Iron is doing okay, but we're going to run out of our original patch pretty soon. So maybe I should automate rail stuff so we can get a train hooked up for that iron way up north. All right, let's automate rail stuff. So... Rails need iron, steel, copper stone, and engines, basically. Um, so like here could be a good spot for rail stuff. Is this crazy? I need sticks to be crafted, but that's it. Years. Um, uh, maybe can we fit it in this area? The problem is the engines. We'd have to, to craft new engines, whereas here we already have them. Uh, soon I will have logistics bots, so maybe I'll just say screw it and just do it wherever I want. Um, because engines and circuits is already here, so that's pretty nice. And that we can, we can actually make a little bit more space here if we put this down. There. <laughs> Rare rails only? No thanks. Oh, you're right, I can write Kamuna's name now that we have the concrete. Indeed. I think there's enough space here. A I M U N A. It's only six letters. Oh, but the M. The M. Hmm. It's okay. Just you watch. Just you watch. Boom. 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 Solutions saluted. Oh, that's the wrong direction. Beautiful. Alright. How's that look on the map? Compared to the other colors. Oh, concrete's like a dark. Interesting. Compared to uh, the pollution makes everything look bad. But yeah, the concrete is a darker color than the stone brick. Interesting. Okay. So, what were we doing with rails here? I do need... I need a stick maker. Stick maker, stick maker, make me a stick. Um, oh. The night vision is very yellow. I don't know if I like it, to be honest. Feels weird. Uh, Vatamouse, that's kind of like the challenge that Ultra Cube has you do. Steel, stone. Okay, let's just get the wagons going here. So, loco, wagon. I'm not gonna worry about fluid wagons for now. Those are pretty long distance in the future. So I need steel. The wagon needs plates. And then the steel. Go here. No, here. Okay, so steel, steel. Problem is the I 
gears. For this guy. So we're gonna need to craft gears on site. There's cargo wagons. So that's nice. Now I don't have to make my trains by hand. And then we need the rails themselves, which is gonna be steel. Oh, that actually doesn't reach. Rails, and then we want the two types of signals. Now, this could be an interesting time to try out circuit setting assemblers. We could set the assembler to whichever one we're lacking, because they're the same recipe. Let's try it. We're gonna we're gonna try mixing a chest of both things, and it's gonna be super duper cool. All right, but we need stone, steel, and iron sticks. So let's underground that. This will be iron sticks. Which means I need I need iron plates down here, and then stone and steel. Just all sorts of random crap. Stone and steel. Huh. Okay, so how about you do this? And then stone. And then that. And then that. And there's your stone and steel. And then we just don't... We don't even cross over. We just commit crimes with our bus. That, here's the spaghetti you guys all came for. Iron plates. Kamuno, we made your name. You missed it. It's right here. Look, in beautiful concrete. In wonderfully beautiful concrete. See, I, I had a tidy base with all that space, and then we used all the space. That's what the space is for, right? It just it just makes sense. Just makes so much sense. How could we not? Alright, and now what we'll do is we'll take green circuits and then we'll take iron and we'll mix them in an unholy way and then that'll come up here and provide what we need for this guy and then we need a combinator that decides which one to do. So does that mean it's a decider combinator? Maybe, maybe not. Um, <laughs> so basically I need, I need it to pick whichever one we don't have enough of. So if, Maybe I can just output both. So maybe we just need two combinators. Um, let me see. I keep trying to use that mod that I don't have. I really miss that mod. It's one of the picker mods where you can just, when you're moused over a building, you can hit a hotkey and it'll craft more of it. I could use a selector combinator. Um, maybe. But I need a condition on it. As well, so I think I need a decider. Because basically, I want to say if the signal, where even are train signals? I can't find anything in this mess. Uh, it's in logistics. Okay, if rail signal is less than, I don't know, I'll make 150, they're cheap. Then we want to output rail signal. And then here we want to set recipe based on that. And then this one is going to do the same thing, but with chain signal and outputs chain signal. 
And now it's going to be getting conflicting results. But as soon as we have more than 150 of either one, we should be okay. I think that's literally all we need to do. Maybe. Which means, could I do anything less than... Could I do each less than 150 output each? But then... No, because then if I had zero... It wouldn't start it up from zero is the problem. It would work once we have at least one of a thing, but if I took out all of the thing, then there's no signal for that thing, and it doesn't... Each only works... It doesn't count zero as... It's null rather than zero, I should say. So... Um, hey, Jojan, welcome, welcome. You're new to the game and you want to ask how to deal with all the products? Well, I'll show you. Uh, in this case, what I do is I crack the oil with the water and you get all three types. And then you take your three... Now, ignore how I have these exactly set up because that's something you can only do with rotating the inputs. But basically, I send all of my petroleum to wherever it needs to go. The heavy oil goes into a tank and it only get pumped out of that tank to get cracked into light oil if I have enough in that tank. So I set a condition on the pump. You connect it with a green wire and you basically say only pump out if you have at least 20,000. And that way you have some heavy oil backed up to make uh, lubricant with or whatever. And then when you have extra, it'll get pumped to your area that cracks it. So heavy oil cracking into light oil is what you do with the rest of it and now you have a bunch of light oil and at least for now I don't need any of that light oil so I'm just cracking all of that into petroleum gas uh, one signal less than the other craft that signal and limit the chest uh, my brain's not parsing if that would work or not Let's just see if this works first. We'll start with the start with the basic idea, which is this. This is far easier for my brain to parse. <laughs> All right, let's hydrate. We're already 42 minutes into episode seven. Goodness, how time flies. All right, so once we have 150 here, it should switch over. We might end up with 151. I'm not sure how that works. Success! Ha ha! The craft everything machine is born in its infancy. Uh, craft everything as long as it's a rail or chain signal. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. And then I'll just bring this over here because this needs iron. All right, and there's rails. Sweet. This is going to be so fun slash a nightmare to play around with. Yeah, ex exactly. That is exactly right. Oh, man. It's crazy what you can do with this now. It's so cool. Wow, 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 wow. OK. So we'll take some rails, we'll take some locos, we'll take some wagons. Could do modules the same way. The problem with modules is they're so slow. Sharing assemblers feels weird because you need like 50 assemblers already. But I guess later game when you're not using very many like efficiency modules, it would be nice to reuse some buildings to make other. Where do the ingredients go when you auto switch? Um, I think they go into some trash slots if it switches. I don't actually know. The problem is here we have. Here, let's let's try it. Because um, the problem is we we've got the same ingredients, so it's not actually a good example of what would happen. So let's say we were making I don't know steam engines. And so you give it some stuff, and then 
It is interesting, it stops at four, like it's got an inserter outputting, even though I don't. Um, but then if I switch to solar panel, yeah, it uses the new trash slots. That's basically what happens with spoilage too. So it basically dumps those out. So you could then active provide those things, but it's impossible to permanently get rid of a product. Uh, not really, Jojo Jen. There's this trick. So you take a chest, you put the things you don't want in there, like all this random crap that I have, and then you take your trusty machine gun and you go blam, 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 and then your bot repairs it, and then you learn that life is futile. You stand far enough away that your bot can't get there in time, and then you destroy it. <laughs> That's the way to do it. There's the way to do it. Oh, Vatamouse, did it just run out of pipes? Yeah, you're right. That's all that happened. But regardless, uh, that's that's where the ingredients go when you switch, is just into the trash slots of the machine. Grab some more pipes here. All right, low density structures research. That's scary because uh, that's gonna be very expensive. Look at my steel. What's going on with steel? Is it iron problems? It's gotta be iron problems, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because we're using a lot of the iron. Actually, no. I just need a bigger steel. I need a bigger steel array. Let's set that up. Um, do I have construction bots yet? Yes, I do. Am I holding construction bots? Yes, I am. Sweet. I'm not gonna have to build this myself, and it's gonna feel so good. Oh my god, yes. All right, so to set, what? Oh, I have a, I have a ghost there, and now my bots are in range of it, so it's giving me that error. All right, here we go. So we just want to copy this. And pipe to ground in the way. Oh, you know what? Super force build, not in the way anymore. Ha 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 ha. Oh my god, my bots are so slow. We need worker robot speed yesterday. Get those upgrades going. And then oil will have to do something like this. All right, bots, do your thing a little faster, please. I might make robot speed happen first. What's up, Heatzor? Uh, more labs? Yeah, probably should do that. Uh, what am I missing? Oh, you know, now is the time. We're also gonna need upgrade planners now that that's automated. So from yellow to red, yellow to red. Notice there's quality buttons for all of this. So interesting. So you could upgrade any quality. At least we finally have a wild card for quality in the upgrade planner. Not blue. What am I doing? Uh, that one. And then you can upgrade to a specific quality. So like late game, you could upgrade any quality of yellow belt to only legendary quality green belt, for example. Um. And then we'll apply that to all of here. And apparently I need to grab some more steel furnaces. Yeah, Vatamouse, I think a lot of it's kind of random chance. There are certainly some seeds that would be harder on default settings. I think a big part of it is just that we went and killed the nests in our pollution cloud. Then you don't get attacked very often. But I, I think we got a pretty easy seed, to be honest, in terms of biter spawns. There's not too much to talk about. Yeah, legendary green belt would be 
Interesting. I don't know what the point of it would be other than bragging rights. Okay, so then the coal needs to come out here, and it seems I broke this somewhere. Shouldn't that be on both sides? Uh, is our coal mining running out again? Yeah. Right row. Alright, where's more coal? Oh, perfect. There's more coal right behind our coal. Perfect. Legendary burner inserters. Yep, that's a thing. We're a long way from legendary. I will say that. Do I have enough belts? Maybe. 200 might be enough. It was. Also, I'm okay with not having a ton of biter attacks right now. I, I generally play Factorio with biters off, so having biters that are on a pretty relatively easy setting is fine with me. It still adds some fun to it and gives us something to do with artillery when we get to the late game, things like that. Gives us something we have to think about when we set up a new mining outpost, but it's not like that hard to deal with. So I think it's actually just about perfect for this run. You know, it makes me think about at least building a few turrets when I set up a mining outpost. But it's not so much that I need walls of turrets and flamers literally everywhere because their giant hordes are attacking me. Get rid of my extra ones here. Yeah, so the higher health of um, buildings will probably matter on Fulgora and then also on the platform because of asteroids smashing into you. Those are the places where higher health, I think, is going to matter. Uh, obviously, and in bases where you're getting attacked. But usually you don't want your factory buildings to be getting attacked by biters. So for non-military buildings, health mostly doesn't matter. But yeah, that should get us enough coal. And why don't we upgrade our belt here to red. And that way we can get a full yellow belt to power and a full yellow belt to the base. Uh, Parley, I think ammo stack size is related to not being able to put as much in your asteroid shooting gun turrets in space. I think it's space platform related balancing. Okay, so that's twice as much steel that we're making now, which is still not very much, but that's a thing. Oh, we're already 53 minutes into this episode. Oh my goodness. I feel like we're to the stage of the game where, like, there's so many things to do and we're always doing something, but it also feels like very little's getting done on average. <laughs> but that that's Factorio. You know, we said we were going to take it slow. We're getting rails started. So there's, there's all sorts of fun things we've done. But yeah, I do think we'll call it the end of this YouTube episode. If you're here live, stick around. I'm going to keep streaming. This is a 12-hour stream and we still got two hours to go, so it's going to be great. But for those of you on the future recorded YouTube, thank you for watching. As always, leave a comment, let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you in the next one.